Friday, Jay! We're ready for some more Frost Family activity! Get into it, get ready, my shining rainbows! Because who knows what's gonna happen. Last episode, you know, we had a little failed date between Ernest and Stephanie. And then, you know, got really happy at the end, tending to his garden. And then, of course, Cleo came over, our lovely sister, just to check on the fam jam to see how we've been doing. And reconnected best friends with Pearl! So who knows where that may lead us to, but at the moment, we are at the beautiful Din Din's for early breakfast, because right now my family timeline is all messed up for whatever reason, I have no idea. But we need to kind of retake over the family, get things going, and um, Pearl needs a bathroom and all this kind of stuff. And she is just loving with cats, so you know what? Cleo and Kitty Cats are kind of where she wants to be. What is this? The vat? Ooh, that's cool. And there's just Tevin. Poor Tevin. When does Tevin grow up? <sighs> Tevin grows up in five days. He might even do that sooner. Because, you know, poor Tevin. Nobody, nobody likes Tevin. Well, I guess I shouldn't say nobody likes Tevin. Just... Tevin's been kind of doing his own thing. He got his homework done. He likes to, um, draw. Let's see if he can do better shapes this time. That's, like, his thing. He likes to draw. He's a little happy artist. Looks like he's making something really cool. Does this increase? It should increase something, right? It increases creativity. Good. That's what we want. High creativity from a child. And Miss Pearl is just having an angry cold shower. Hmm. Great. And after that, you are going to go play with the kitty cat. Open. I want friendly introduction. What are you doing? Sleeping away like there's no care in the world when you wake up. And grab yourself a serving. And then you are going to have to have a shower. And then you can play some video games. Play games. Yes. Good job, Tevin. We're proud of you. I think this episode we're going to focus a little bit more on um, the youngsters and kind of just leave Ernest off to the side there, you know. He's doing okay, though. He has his career. He has his plans. He needs to read a mixology book. Oh, I forgot about that. Yes, we should do that, too, after he's done playing. Can we read? Do we have mixology? Yes, we do. We'll read mixology. Do you have something in your inventory mixology? All your books are in your inventory. You really need to, like, deal with that. Okay, I think you're fine. What is this? You have eggs and toast in your inventory? Oh, my goodness. How long has that been in your inventory for? That's hilarious. All right. All right. Do we have everyone set to do a lot of stuff or not? Let's take a look, sees at your picture. We're literally just going to have you make pictures like crazy. What is this? Oh my god, you and your shapes are so funny. You like to draw. That's what we do. Pearl found an item out of a mystery box. A ball, a ball, a ball, a ball. And then there's no kitties around her, is there? You're still so angry. Oh my god. Whew. Okay, now you're doing better. Okay, well, let's go find some kitties. Come on, Pearl. Make a best friend as a kitty. Come on. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the cat? Did you find the cat? <gasps> yes! You found the cat. Oh my god, the cat has red hair, just like you. It is perfect. It is perfect. You need to pet this cat. This is gonna be your favorite. At the cat. You love kitties. You absolutely love the kitties. So pay attention to the kitties, okay? Oh, I'm so excited for you to finally meet a kitty cat. Play. Oh, my. Oh, I'm so excited. Praise. Oh, the cat loves me. Oh, the cat loves me. Where are you going, kitty? Where are you going? Are you a stray kitty cat? Or are you? Where'd you go? 
You are a stray. You're an adult. Where'd you go? Well, that was exciting. I was excited because... Is there anything to do here in the f for fun? I was excited because... You were going to make a little kitty cat friend, but... else is I am? Oh, well... Pearl found some common upgrade part. Thank God, where to go, Pearl? Let's just go for a little travel. Oh my God, Nanny Doughty is wearing a very funty outfit. Let's take Miss Khalil. Oh, can we take the cat too? <gasps> Let's please take the cat too. I can introduce the key to Messi. Go to the dog. Oh, they're like cat friendly place or is it only dog friendly whatever let's go there hopefully it's not bad taking a cat to a dog friendly place but hey what am i gonna do not having any fun so let's play with Leo. did the cat come too oh my god the cat came too we can give you a bag of treats Where's the kitty cat? Oh, I love it. I love this little place. I think I met... I think this is where... Um... Our mom met Tevin's dad was in this park, actually. Oh, who is this fellow? Hmm. Oh, the cat is just running around. Oh my god, the cat's probably actually not doing good here. This is like a dog park. Uh oh. Where's the kitty? Aww. The whole point really was to. My fun wasn't very high either. I thought this would be a good idea, but. I'm done playing chess. Can I find the cat? Is it gonna let me give the cat treats? There's all these great people in here. Oh, you're, you're getting older though. Young adult, young adult. Grand. This is grand. Okay, I want to find the cat. There's the cat! Yes! Oh, the cat's sleeping. Wake up, Chester! Stop chatting with everyone, okay? Oh my god, this cat is adorable, but that's enough. Do not talk to him. Come on, get to know Do some treats. Offer some friendship. Pick up. Let's go. Come on. I know I brought you to a dog park. I'm sorry, Chester. Are adorable, though. Do you like it, Chester? Are you happy? Oh, we just became friends, and Cleo's here, too. Yeah. Oh, it just ran off. So cute. Okay, whatever. We're friends now. What are we doing with Cleo? Tell a joke about Professor. Oh, that's not. <laughs> not even think. How old are you? You're a teen. And I'm a teen. So, one thing I need to do is actually age up. Um, Miss Cleo here. That's the one thing we really should be paying attention to the last time. You are now a young adult. Is that going to affect too much? No, okay, good. I don't want to change too much of how you look. And it's that nose, it's that nose that all of us have, which is very similar in my family. My family all has a nice big wide nose. My cousins, my sister is what he been, so I'm good with it. So if you keep that low, that nose lineage, I think we're gonna be all good. I quite like you though. You're an e you're kind of very similar to Tevin. You're a painter, a muser, you're a dirty cray cray. And um sure, you're hot headed because you're like sort of evil. 
I'll take that. Oh, randomly. Oh, who's all here? Oh, I was like, randomly, mom's here, but that's because. Well, that's. I hate that part. So let's go here. It always does that. It switches you to the person you last modified, which I totally get. But, like. What? There we go. Family mother came. And why are you wearing the weirdest clothes? Fatima Slack. Well, we'll just be... Where are you? Okay, you left. Okay, well, let's go home. Oh my god, there's like the cutest... This dog is so cute. Can you come home with me? More choice. Pet care. Pick up. Friendly. Uh -huh. That dog is the coolest hair. Uh -huh. okay, let's get out of here. Let's go home. We play with Chester in the park. I love Chester. I'm pretty sure Pearl and Chester is going to get along really, really well. But it's time for us to go home. Let's go back to Ernest. And hopefully that will help make Pearl come home for Easter. That's what we want. We want Pearl. Pearl, come home. Pearl, Pearl, come home to your family. Come home to your family. Let's see this beautiful... <gasps> Look! Kevin created a gorgeous rainbow art for the shiny rainbows. Beautiful. What are you doing? Oh, you're dancing. Yeah, that's right. You dance. You dance, Ernest. How are your plants doing, by the way? Oh, we got a weed. We got to weed the plants. Got lots of stuff. Lots of stuff going on here. Ball, whatever that does. I don't really know. You're going to be doing lots of plant stuff. You hate being inside with children, so... You can say outside, which is like your favorite place to be. Apparently, I'm getting kicked out anyways. You can go outside. How about you clean? No, you can't clean. Lots of unfair. You're hungry. You're hungry, Pearl. You need to come home. Bring Pearl Frost here. There we go. Does that work? Yes. Yeah. And you're in such a good mood. Maybe you'll find Chester again at one point. What are you doing? Read Mixology Volume 2? Oh my goodness. Did Ernest leave that book around? No. You're just going to it. Okay. I was gonna get a little bit worried here. I was gonna get a little bit worried about you. I feel bad for Mr. Ernest now. Just in the sense that he loves his plants. But he also has to try to take care of children. Those are all apparently very uncomfortable right now. But that's just because we have that gross toy. Hey, you know what? Why don't you clean the toilet? You have to do everything. You have to. Clean the toilet. Come on, Pearl. Because you know, if you ever move out on your own, work starts for Ernest in an hour. Great. We need to make lots of money in this house. How about you play the violin? You're very artsy, and we have a violin for you. And Miss Pearl is just, like, dying for some reading. Hey, Pearl, I know it's Sunday afternoon, but do you really want to just read? Let's just... Oh, this is going to be good. Let's scare Ernest. As this happen. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to do any. Uh, oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Ernest. Wow, ah, what a jerk. What a 
sure. Go to work. Holy. You ungrateful child. You living under my roof and you try to do tricks like that? He is just a jerk. Ernest is not having these children. Look at this. He has a little bubble. He does not want these children here anymore. I don't know, fam. I think it's time. I think it's time. I think it's time. I think Pearl is gonna have to look for a place of her own to move to. I think so. I don't know, though. But Ernest is just not having it with these kids. Like, it's horrible. Poor children. These poor children. Pearl is literally the man and the woman of the house taking care of everything. <laughs> poor, like, Ernest is, or Kevin is writing and creating these little drawings of a happy family. But it's in black and white because it's not very happy. There's no color and joy in their family. There's no joy. There's no joy at all. It's so sad. It's so sad. Why are you still uncomfortable? Is there like dirty stuff in this house? Come on now. Bad aftertaste and icky plumbing. Oh my god. This poor family. What time is it? It's 3 p.m. You know what? This is what life is gonna be. This is what life's gonna be. It just is. How? So he has five days left, right? I think what I need to definitely do is really detail um, my, like, aging process. Because, like, look at this. There's a teen, eight days left. Like, I think I need to make it, like, very... Like, I know it's hard when you, if you play multiple games and stuff to, like, age up properly. But I feel like aging up process is very challenging. To make sure it's all even and cohesive. And you're now dazed. Seriously, Fred. Talking with Fred. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's going crazy. Pearl's going crazy. She's talking to herself. She's talking to herself. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Pearl. Pearl. Where are you going, Pearl? Oh, my gosh. Pearl's talking to herself, and she's now on fire. And there's Tevin just playing his music. Okay, the house is dirty. Let's have all this. Ah. Oh. <gasps> Yay! Overload the dishwasher. I don't even have a dishwasher. That's weird. Oh! That was at work. Oh, that's so funny. Oh my god, now you're sleeping? Girl. Your sis is here. Your sis is here. Your sis. Your sis is here because she knows you were looking at apartments. We're gonna have a deep conversation. Be like, hey sis. Oh, you can totally tell that she's grown up now. Oh, that's so cute. You guys look so much alike. Like, look, this is not working out. He took us when we were young, and we didn't really have a choice, and I, I don't blame you, but, like, how did you <laughs> let this happen? Oh, oh, yes, you guys are doing good. You guys are back on track. And look at this cute Lou family. I'm pretty sure Pearl has learned the following traits about Cleo. She's hot-headed. Yes, yeah, she is. I am pretty sure these two are going to be moving out. Very soon together. Yes, you're very handy. See, so you're like, look, bring me to your house. I have lots of skills. And you were, like, literally fuming. You were fuming. Oh, because you're dazed, probably? Sleep it off. I'm being dazed. Level up and handing a skill. But you're messy. I know, but look how handy I am. See, Pearl's putting down her lines because I want to move out with you. Let's leave mom behind. Let's leave the family behind. See, they're happy. They are so happy with each other. They love the choice. They love the decision. It's moving fast. It's moving fast. See, look, Pearl's going to go look at it again. So Cleo's decided that um, she's totally okay 
with Pearl coming and moving in with her. But first, they have to find a place to move into. They're going to move into a small lot and just kind of grow and develop. Because really, um, Pearl is still a teenager. She's no young adult yet. So we'll have to figure out how that is going to work. But you never know. That is the direction they are going. Because Pearl's had enough. She just got screamed and yelled at from Ernest. Tevin's doing okay right now. He's creating some happier pictures with rainbows. So we'll have to decide if he's going to come with us. Or is he going to stay with Ernest? That is the question. Where is he gonna go? You're gonna go to sleep. Perfect. This is exactly what needs to happen. So now Cleo is talking because they all like the art. Cleo likes the art and she's talking to Tevin because Tevin is drawing a beautiful picture. And you know, he's she like a family with love. And she's saying, I believe it's true. We shouldn't have let you go with the family. The family is feeling all sad. Gosh, that they left everyone behind. The two youngest went with them. Ah, oh, Joseph's connection to the physical world is growing weaker with each passing day. Let it, lest he be completely forgotten, friends and family should visit his resting place and attempt to strengthen his connection. They may also evoke his spirit. Who is Joseph? Is that your dad? Ah, I didn't realize that's what he looked like. Weird. So now Cleo herself, after this long conversation, is gonna go look for apartment while she also practices playing Sims. <laughs> but once Seven has done this, he is gonna go to bed. He's doing more beautiful drawings. It's getting better and better and more colorful. It is getting way more colorful. It's gonna be really exciting because it's gonna be into like another chapter of their lives. We keep jumping around and floating things up, but it's hard because, you know, we don't know where we're going to go. I think we're going to have to, Tevin's going to need to grow old, like get a little bit older, but he's a horrible student in school. So we'll see. He's going to go to sleep. We'll see when we take this action and we move them forward. But in the meantime, in the meantime, we will have to carry on and see what happens to our beautiful, beautiful family. Cleo is rescuing us, which we thought Ernest was going to rescue us, but he didn't. So if this is the path we take, let us hope that Cleo does not forget about us. But we're all kind of growing up now. So like, really, we're going to have a cool little flat, have a good time. And see where it takes us. But for now, my shiny rainbows, Ernie J is out of here. Catch us on the next episode and see where we go. Bye.